All right, gonna be doing some unfair mist eaters, and uh, still need to get the control shot 120. I think I'll just simply get that naturally if I go for a three or four island. And then we should have enough to get a new squad. I'm, I'm going to go with Chen Rong. Kai is definitely not good on this squad. Uh, this squad is not damage based. Which means they're great. I really think damage based squads are going to struggle on unfair mode when every freaking Vec has five or more health. Five health, I should say. Um reason I'm going Chen, I don't know what the best pilot for the squad is, by the way. My thought with Chen is I can I can have the flexibility here. It's basically like picking up Abe in the context of this squad. So, you know, you do the damage to yourself, one. But if I move after, I can move into some smoke and heal that damage. Or, and also just get out of the way if I, if I don't want to die. Or, you know, I'll have enough health. I mean, I start with three health. I could also just do the damage to myself and still block. Maybe I pick up a smoke, maybe I don't. But I'll still be alive and I can keep picking up smoke otherwise and doing plays. So I think it just gives me a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, shall we say, flexibility. Now I could go with the, the AI, um, or the robot. I don't know what you call them. That you have to power to get, like, a whole movement, but I think that unfair is too hard at the start to to justify that. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, we'll see. I mean I haven't played Mist Eaters on Unfair. I really liked them on hard, but maybe that'll change. I don't foresee this that happening though. I really think that the squad is just really good, and it's, you know, I mean, it's unfair mode if they decide to just always attack building after building, uh, or objective after objective, when there's five Vec on the field at all times, I'll have issues, even if with a good squad like this, even with the Frozen Titans, I have to imagine I'd have issues, but we shall see, so... This is probably actually okay. We're very, very unlikely to have enemies die that often, so like the explosive scion isn't that much of an issue. This looks pretty alright as well, but... Some of these objectives could be tough right now for my squad, I suppose. This one I don't like. This one looks the hardest to me. Uh, you got a web, you got a unit that webs. You have spiders coming out of the dead units, which I think is more deadly than the bomb, in the context of this squad. Um, and that that boss, I think, is like the hardest boss. The fact, well, not for this squad. For this squad, that boss is actually pretty easy because the smoke doesn't matter. Like I can. I can bait it into attacking, like, my control mech or brute, and I'll be fine. As long as it doesn't attack my artillery, I'm good. And even then, I might still be good. I can still fire a shot off from position or, or whatnot. Is this the easiest? The boss does actually uh, seem the easiest. The mosquito would be super easy for me. Could also just do this one. The armor doesn't matter a whole lot. Um,
Yeah, we'll do this. I'll tell Vec with this one shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the map is not the best. This map's acceptable. I think this is this is easier for sure. Alright, so we will just try not to kill any units. I guess I know I won't get any experience, but I'm not so worried about that. This squad is very strong right out the gate. I don't need to like sacrifice grid for experience and stuff. Um so we don't want to we don't want the artillery getting webbed. And realistically, I probably don't want anybody to get webbed, but if it is anybody to get webbed, it should be the control mech. Artillery will just have good shots here. Three. Probably want them here. Yeah. And yeah, we can put the control mech here. I mean, I don't want a butt shooter to shoot there if possible. So this should work. I, I don't want my units to get webbed. Um, and this tank, we want everybody on all hands on deck to be able to deal with this shit. Like if a guy goes here, I definitely need you know this guy's ability to come down there and deal with him. And also, if the butt shooters shoot, we want him to shoot at nothing. Alright, that's good. That's not. That's not. That's not. No, one out of, one out of four ain't bad. Um... I can two for one the artillery. So that's good. Or two for one with my artillery, I should say. Uh, I can go down here. I should do this first if I'm going to shoot there. All right. Because we don't want to move in while it's on fire. Don't really have a good move with the control mech here. trying to think if there's any better thing I can do because right now the control mech not like do anything doesn't feel great I guess I could move this no that would kill him well not really okay so this is what we can do we can go here control mech does have a move that it can do So it'll move back, block. And take a damage here. Yeah, that's a good turn. Certainly no heat stinkers, are they? 
Now I conjecture you this. Vanilla heat stinks. How are they dealing with that turn? How are they dealing with that turn without taking any damage? And getting a block in. Um... Alright, this is the only guy cooperating once again. This is our greatest ally here, but it's not too big of an issue. I mean, I can I can move this well I was going to say I can move that guy over, but it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I can definitely deal with this. I'm just trying to find the best way to deal with it. Probably control this guy over here so that it blocks. And it'll also shoot that guy to have him die. Can move you back to here. Smoke this. Though with him online next turn, maybe smoking him doesn't make the most sense. So instead, we'll just uh, smoke that. And I can just do that. I'd like to protect this side if I can, so we'll just end this turn there. Yeah. There's that spiraling. But that's fine. If I'm gonna kill him, it might as well be the alphas get our experience worth, right? Alright, well we got... We got our tanks online, so... I think we're, we're good here. Um, let's see... Don't have to deal with him. Can this guy do anything useful? Kinda. I can do this and then this shot kinda makes sense. I'm, I'm fine to keep him preserved. We can kill him eventually. And then we just go here. And I'll, I can reheal myself. I'll just have to move this guy out of the way. That's fine. I have a great way to move you out of the way. And you can move. Uh, I might as well shoot this guy into the fire, right? Jump in the fire. Yeah. So now he's just going to die next turn naturally. And if anything, it's better to let him die next turn when they can't spawn a uh, spider. So we don't have to deal with the purple guy. Got a deal. Don't really have to deal with that one. So deal, deal. That's it. That guy dies as well. And this guy could die. Well, let's go ahead and just... Uh, have that die. Hmm. 
And then that one is the only one we have to deal with. Um, is there any way I can get, like, an extra kill here? Doesn't look like there's a super straightforward way to do it, unfortunately. Like, I could shoot there. And hit him for one, but... Still doesn't die. Because he's not on fire. So let's just move him out of the way. He moves into fire, but that's not good enough. So, yeah, there's really... Not a whole lot to do. Just end the turn. Oh, there was the... F okay, we could have actually killed that. I forgot about the egg. Oh, well. It's a little bit of experience. Nothing too bad. Already feels better than heat stinks. Um, artillery support is always incredibly easy. Tidal waves is not that easy anymore because of the. It just seems like there's a plethora of flying units. I will say this map does not look great. Uh, it's, but it's it's artillery support. How can this ever go bad? We don't want to get webbed, which means this guy is going to stick here and attack there, or go here. Just want to make sure that we can deal with that. Um, I'd rather do that than have my own movement limited. I'd rather be able to deal with him down there. So if this guy butt shoots, we want to bait him in here. These guys fire a lobbing shot. Lobbing it into there is fine. I also have the movement to basically hit wherever I need to from there. Then it's just a matter of this. And this guy is going to stick here and shoot that anyway. Unless, unless this guy... Another uh, positive here is this guy goes first. If he just sticks here and attacks, this guy can't move. So we especially don't want to bait this guy out. So I think it's, I don't know, 50-50 maybe that he just stays here. Roughly. Now this guy... One, two... He only has two movement, huh? So that means he is just not gonna... It, it actually, we don't have to actually bait anything here. It, it, the only guy we, we would be baiting is this guy in the event that this guy moves up. And even if he moves up, he's just gonna sit here and attack this. So... We can actually just move this guy forward. Um, the main thing is we just don't want to put a guy right there. So I can put you there. This guy attacks a grid no matter what. Uh, if anything, we want him to attack this way and not this way. But it doesn't matter that much. So yeah, we should be fine here. So far, it's gone about as bad as it could go. 100% of them attacked Grid, and they also, you know, did that. But I can get a two for one here with my artillery, so then I just have to deal with the three. Unfortunately, that's not going to be super possible. Like, if this guy was sitting on on fire, I could...
Not much you can do in the RNG. This is the slot machine that Unfair Mode has become. It's like, if they do decide to just do these type of things, there's not a whole lot I can do against that. Not a whole lot I can do against that. Well, let's think in terms of priority. One grid damage, one grid damage, two, but it takes both of them attacking and that one to get that. However, we also could just say that maybe we just lose two because I have three of them all attacking the same one here. And then I can just try to deal with them and set myself up. I don't know though. It doesn't feel great. I can two for one either here or here. The attack order here sucks as usual. There's nothing I can do with this attack order. Is there anything super fancy I can do with the control mech? I mean, I can... Nope, I can't. Like, even with the control mech, this guy attacks before this. So, like, if I put it there, it'll just jump back. This, none of them are on fire, so I can't kill them with the artillery. So I'm taking grid. Nothing I can do about that. Um, Just sucks. Like the butt shooter also has to like move up here and attack. Like I could, I could at least do like a two for one here where I smoke this guy and move there, block the shot. I still survive. Then I can two for one the or the you know with my artillery there. Then I just control that mech that guy out. But no, the RNG just is abysmal for me here, as per usual. None of them, none of them are in camp, or, uh, on, you know, fire, other than this one, which this artillery cannot reach. The attack orders don't line up, such that I can kill any of the Vec before they fire. Why are the alphas always going last here? Such shit. Such shit. Well, let's think of this in terms of... Grid saved. Can I at least block this somehow? Alright, well, okay, I could... There's one thing I could do here. I could control mech this over here. That's a two for one. Problem is that... <laughs> every two for one I do invalidates another two for one. You know? Like, I could, uh...
But I, I don't know that I can really get around that. I think I just... Most likely, this is the guy I'm going to leave hitting the grid. I can at least do some damage to him. That way, if he decides to still fuck around there, I can kill him next turn with this artillery. So I'm thinking I can control my this down here. At least that makes this guy die. It will make it so this guy doesn't attack that. That happens. I can also smoke that guy and get a block in. And then my artillery has to go all the way over here to smoke that guy, but I think that's fine. Well, I could always... I guess I could always use this guy to smoke that. Uh, that is not good. That is not what I wanted to happen. So now this guy has to go on fucking fire. Okay, god damn it. But that is the play, so we'll go there. I should do the... Yeah, I'll still do that. You'll go here. Let's move you down so that you have a better shot. Slash, you'll bait them out more. So next turn you'll have more options being closer to the action. So we used our reset with sucks. I forgot that for whatever reason this fucking artillery puts any tile on fire. So this mech already has 50% the ability to apply fire that the heat sinks have. Okay. Now this would have been the argument for using the Brute on this unit to get him closer to death. But that would have left this guy in maybe a worse position. That was the trade-off. Um, this is fine, I can still, can still pretty much deal with all of this, so... Um, I can just... Like, we don't have to deal with that guy. I can just go down here. Repair. But, uh, I don't know. I could, I could also just do this. Um... Gotta make sure we don't have, you know, our reset, so we have to make sure everything here is correct. So I'm gonna smoke you, you're gonna go down here, you're gonna go here. Now I have. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go there. Take the block and move you down there. Get another block. And the artillery just needs to be able to smoke that, which it can. You know, if I would love to smoke both of these. For sure. So like there. And then you can go... Here. We'll go there. You'll go here, and you will do that, and just remain there.
This is the joy of the moths. They always attack grid even when they don't attack grid. The artillery can't do much here. Though I could control mech it over here and kill if I wanted to, which I probably do. This guy we don't have to deal with. And then I can... Eh. I don't actually have a shot, though, with the artillery. So the artillery can only really deal with this, so unfortunately the artillery just kind of has to, you know? So if that's the only move he can make, then that just has to happen. This guy, not an issue. Um, what's the attack order here? Never useful as usual. And if this guy attacked first, I could kill. Well, I couldn't kill him, so never mind. But you get the picture. Um, I just need to move this guy probably over there. And then, if we're going to do that, we can we have to determine which guy is more of an issue. Is the moth or this motherfucker more of an issue? Probably the moth, because it has later attack. So, like... Yeah, I can just move the artillery back here. Fire a shot off there. So... Ah, this is not so good though. There's fire, fire, block. I can't move this guy. I could move that guy, except he's gonna move back. But we could, okay, we could do this then. You. We'll go there. So now you're attacking first so you actually kill that. And then I can just block here. Unless I want to block there. I don't think that I do. You know, what would have been an infinitely better turn is if I just went here, repaired, and then went down. Well, I don't have my reset. Just have to live with that. I definitely want to Blanc. Alright, Scion doesn't matter. Alright, at least that guy decided to be nice. <laughs> So we just have to deal with these two, which should definitely be doable. It'd be nice to get a kill. But there's no way with this guy on one health. Um, what I can do is kill that with the help of the control mech. Then I just smoke the other guy with the artillery. Could have been bad. Luckily, it is not. Alright, well, get through it. We had to take one grid, but what are you gonna do when the RNG is the way that it is, you know? Still infinitely better than the heat stinks would be. End with eight spaces on fire? That seems bloody likely. That seems bloody likely. Well, is it? 
I mean, I have a group that nullifies fire a lot of the time. That's actually kind of tough, isn't it? Shitty thing. Yeah, it's not too shitty. I guess the shitty thing is, like, if I want more stars, I do need to do this. Because I could do this and this, get a star each, the power grid. The power grid at least gives us leeway to take some fire damage. Power. Fire. But, I don't know. Tidal waves is... Not, not as good as it used to be. Let's just put it that way. And the maps... I don't know, it's like, this cluster here is rough, these up against the wall is rough. The water, if we just roll moths, which in my experience, Unfair seems to prefer to do that. I wouldn't be surprised if it's programmed in, that there's flying units galore on tidal waves. Because it used to be such an easy one, right? Even on hard mode. I swear it's like they saw that it was so easy and they're like, we're going to make this one horrible now. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But either way, I'm, I'm not huge on that. Like, I can probably put eight tiles on... This is really going to come down to the control mech. Because um, my brute probably can't really set anything on fire. But if I can set unit Like the artillery unit, if I can set units on fire, have them move around and keep spreading the fire. And if I can get my control mech to have Vex shoot each other, I think 8 on fire is reasonable. We just have to... It'll be tough, but it's not impossible. So... This guy just isn't going to make a move, and neither is that guy, so that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. We can focus on the fire, then. Focus fire. You will shoot there, there. It, there's no predicting where you'll shoot. There's really no, no need to predict too much there. What we need to do is try to put shit on fire. That's what we need to do. So let's let you do that. I want your freedom of movement to include this. That's good then there. And you. Yeah, let's switch you and you. I want you to be down here to move this guy, if possible, to a place where, you know, maybe, maybe I can get some fire off. Ooh, nice. About time. About time. Well, moving either of them to the right will result in a tile on fire, so control mech there kind of makes sense. Um, I wouldn't mind putting this guy on fire. Can I, can I actually do that, though? Doesn't look like it. I don't know if that was a good decision or a bad decision. then I set a tile that isn't forest on fire.
Plus, if I move this over, it would bump that. I'm going to keep this guy down here. I'm going to put him there. That way he puts that on fire. I'm going to keep this guy here. That way they either go there or there. Yeah. Alright. So this turn isn't going to be that fancy. It's probably just going to be control him down there. And smoke this guy. And put this guy in fire. And he'll get a damage in there for what that's worth. But Then I'll just move this guy here and get my health back. Well, I can set that tile on fire then. Either way, it's fine. I wanted to put that guy on fire so he'd spread it, but whatever. And then you just go there and there. And they'll put that on... Oh, that's already on fire, but... We're definitely moving toward the fire objective... Is a useful idiot. I'm not really seeing any, uh, well, yeah, I'm not really seeing any two for ones, unfortunately. Not off the top of my head, at least. So I gotta deal with that, gotta deal with that, gotta deal with that. However, this guy's stuck. So. Gonna be tough. Oh, butt shooter. Why are you the way that you are? Probably gonna have to take another grid then. It's fine. I'm earning back grid from the other ones. I don't need to fret too much over grid. Like, a single grid damage here is fine. So, this guy needs to get taken care of. He's taking two grid out. This guy needs to move. So I could kill that guy with the artillery. Let's kill him from over here. Yes, okay, certainly gonna move there. What I could do, and yeah, no, this doesn't make any sense. This will be fine. We're just going to move you here. Then you're on fire and you'll make more fire over here. We'll just go like that and then this is where we'll take grid on. Two more spaces on fire. That will be one, just moving out of the way does it there. And then I just set any 
any one of these on so like you have four movement one two three four you can't really do anything this turn unfortunately but uh you have four movement one two three four this still works so so what we can do I, I, I do have a move here where control mech makes sense so we gotta do here we just gotta put you on fire or put you on yeah So put him on fire, it better not. Very good, he's not on fire. So you're alive, you're putting that on fire. I already got the spaces anyway. Time pods in the smoke down there. We do it all with one grid damage taken, it's not too bad. And we'll earn back grid damage here. Frost beam. Science class weapon. Sucks that it's a science class weapon because my science class is amazing with its control shot. It also has the requirement of a power to power up and it's only one use per battle, but that's a pretty good weapon. Honestly, if I could put it here for two power, it would be best. So I could get an entire move out of the control shot. I mean, I have a power right now. I could just power it. It might be okay just to do this for now. I know I want power here anyway. Probably having the ability to do this is pretty powerful. I mean, if I can just take two enemies out of the battle for good... That's pretty powerful. Destroy the dams. I could do that easily with the brute. But the mites off the mech is a little more a little more shitty. I think because I do have two here. Either of these is fine. I think this map looks pretty shitty though, huh? And if you get like two Vec right back to get back there, that's rough. Even that's rough. Those are rough. Volatile Vec though, I don't know, it's it's not too bad. Is it better than this? It's probably better than this. Like I said, if it's mainly flying units here, it's just all like a net downside of a map to be fighting on, and this this whole square here is just abysmal. So yeah, we'll do, we'll do the Volatile Vec. Plus I can just freeze the Volatile Vec. Okay, so you are just either going to go there or there. Since you go before that, you're just going to go there then. If you go anywhere at all. So we don't put a guy there. Um, if the Volatile Vec... decides to go well yeah this this guy's just going here that's like given and he'll be attacking that direction this guy is gonna move and not really do anything but if he moves here and this guy's here boom we got the freeze ray so let's get you over here I can have the uh, the artillery will actually put here yeah, he'll he'll be able to to deal with that, and if need be, and then control mech will put there. We don't want him in range of getting that, but he's right here. You know, they'll move in to position, and I can get a badass freeze off. Uh, 
as predicted. Maybe I can get another one even. No? Okay. Well, shit. It's not the freeze I predicted, but... This kind of looks like a no-brainer to me. I will take that. And this will just go here. That guy will die. And we'll have a little trick we can do here to put you in a better position. I will put him there. If it's if it's a uh, one of these, or if this guy goes down here, we want to be able to fire off to the left. So you'll kill. You don't really have anything to do. I'll tell you what you could do. You could uh, just lay down some uh, some cover fire for that guy. And again, not too worried about min-maxing the experience here. The There's a certain enjoyment that just comes from the fact that I don't even need level ups on these people to just destroy a fucking everything. Alright, you're going there. Oh, this is so much nicer than Heat Stinks. So much nicer. Alright, can't get a kill there. So I'll just get a kill here. Push it right, okay, good. There, I preserved the volatile vec for you. You can put it in a museum. Okay. Um, not much I can do to about the map generation here. So, this is annoying. These guys might just end up there. That's not too bad. Since the alpha goes first, um, I can just control mech that around. So what we, what we want to not happen is for our guys to get webbed. But with this guy, that's happening. I, I can't just close off that much of the map to me. Unless I think that, that that's reasonable. So right now it's like my my available spaces. There just are none. It's like I can't go there. I, I even can get led from that. What I can do though is try to get these guys to both go there. Then my control mech has a good thing, so my control mech needs to be outside of this dude's range. Then again, my control mech deals with this guy webbing him the best. So that's a catch-22. And actually, since you guys first... Like, in hind I actually do want to get webbed uh, by this guy. So, control mech could go, like, right here. I think. 
We don't want to get webbed by these guys with a control mech. I also just don't want to get webbed by these guys with anybody. So I think we're going to set up over here. I mean, this guy could go over here and get webbed. That's not, not the worst thing in the world. I can just fire away. Um, it also does bait out the butt shot and the ranged shot here. So I think this is fine. If they do web me, I should get webbed here. That way I can drop a smoke to protect this grid there. Um, and then we don't want to be webbed that. So actually, this guy should go here. This guy can't reach him. But then the science mech, we will put not there, because we don't want to get webbed by that, but we do want to get webbed by that. So that's what we're going to do. Prediction complete. And prediction complete. I can web this guy in a place that, you know, has a good, good area. But, is that what we want to do? So right now, unfortunately though, like the other guys didn't play so nicely, like, well I guess this guy was never going to kill anybody from that position. So we just have to control that guy down unless we think there's a better play to make. Luckily that guy doesn't have to get dealt with, that guy doesn't have to get dealt with. We only have to really deal with them and these. You have four movement. Um, you can go one, two three I could I could just smoke that guy control mech this guy down there I think no matter what the brute deals with this guy I either want to put that tile on fire or block the vent coming in Like, smoking that tile would be pretty good. So, like, I could go down here. I, yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways I could do this. Like, I could... Yeah, it, 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 I don't have a good move with the artillery, though, because it's like... I would have to basically kill my unit to free up his movement. So control mech just has to move this guy off of him. So then the question is do I want to put the artillery mech down here and smoke that guy. Get a smoke there and there. Or I could go here and smoke this guy. Nice advantage about that is I could go down here with the brute. Maybe be in a better position over here. And then, uh, yeah, because in hindsight I actually think the brute is the best equipped to deal with this. If I if I could do it over again, I would switch the control mech and the brute here. It is what it is, because I could definitely get a better turn here off with the control mech. Um, a lot of the time, this particular turn, probably not. Probably still a little bit better of a turn. Like I can move this guy off and block. I can't get that right now. So it is what it is. We'll just do this. Um, And you... I could just freeze the boss, but I, I have all my objectives. Like, it sure would be nice 
to maybe save the freeze for a better turn. So we'll just do that. And then you will go... You'll go here. Um, you're not in a great position, though. Like, this is not, like, super great. But we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, I'd like to just keep the brute there. Yeah. That's perfect. Heals me. I can easily deal with that. I'm glad that this didn't grab me there. The only thing though is like we do... We really want to try to get one of these Vex to deal damage here. It's fine though. I can deal basically two damage a turn with this Brute and if it keeps attacking me I'll keep healing back and you know in three turns I should be able to kill him. But if I want to pay a little bit of grid here, I definitely have some plays I can make. Like, this is only a one grid hit. This guy already blocks this shot, and I would love if I could uh, get that hit in. And I could smoke that guy. Or I could actually just kill that guy. And then just let that hit my grid. I'd actually just like to kill that guy, I think. So why don't we fire off? And you... Go there. Then you're dead. Then you block that. This just hits that, or this just hits the that. And then we'll just kill that. Where are you attacking? It doesn't really... I could have sworn it was attacking to the bottom right, but it it doesn't really indicate it. I'm almost certain it is. Or was it attacking this way? Oh, no, I smoked him, so he's not attacking. So I could move back here if I want. Right? Then I'm just in a little bit better position to deal with stuff. Haha. This is looking good. Nice. Not nice. But we only have three to deal with pretty easy. Pretty easy order. So this guy can only get dealt with the artillery. The only good shot that I can make there The Brute can deal with either of them. I could always just tank this hit and shoot there if I don't want to like go up here and make this shot. Technically smoking here and here is better and I don't really need my health. But this guy could stick me in and that kind of sucks. Uh, I could also just... If I had one more movement, this would be an okay play with the control mech. Um, let me 
guess I'm still just gonna have to take damage with this control mech. So, so my thought is like. This is fine. I mean, I can, I can just. I can go here. You know, this guy might be such a fucker that I might be inclined just to freeze him. I'm kind of feeling that. Then I can still just like not take a shot here and still smoke that. And then I can uh, just do this. I like that. Of course, another sticker guy comes in, but at least these two are not doing anything useful. So we only have to deal... We don't even have to deal with this guy. He's The freeze here is protecting that. So I can just probably... Move that guy down there. We'll have to move him out first. Yeah. That's fine. And then... Just smoke him. Move him there, huh? So if I move him there, we'll get that kill. This guy doesn't have enough damage to get a kill otherwise, so we're fine though. This is a victory, right? You're moving back, you're hitting that, it's not killing it. Alright. We get through it with only a grid taken and every objective gotten, along with like every star, like all of the high star things. As suspected, this squad just fucking rules. And that was with horrible RNG on a lot of those fights. I mean, heat sinks would have just been getting massacred on some of those maps. I do like targeted airstrike. No power required. It's just a really nice positional manipulation uh, thing, of which we we need more of, right? So I'm probably taking that. Abe is a good pilot, though. I still think I prefer the, uh, the pilot that I have right now. It's been not super useful every turn to be able to move after, but it's been pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think I'll take this. This is super useful. That is definitely a high roll. Not a not an incredibly high roll, but it's a good roll. Got a lot of use per battle stuff, huh? But Heavy Rocket is also kind of just pretty good, right? Uh, it doesn't require any... If I put it on the Brute... You know, I can so I could put that on the artillery. I could buy that and put on the brute. Keep in mind, I am floating two stars here, and that we're not gonna get. That one's just whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, probably I can live with being down a power grid. I'll earn that back. I think I just buy that, buy two reactors, call it good. That's a good deal to me. So you can get that. Look at all the options we have now. This is beautiful. Uh, okay. We do have a. I didn't. I did. I forgot that there's a passive. <laughs> Shit. Well, either way, this technically makes sense. I think. 
to have it. Um, question is, what do we... Do we think that that is... useful? So what do I get from this? Standing on smick repairs mechs and removes the smoke. Am I crazy in thinking I could replace this with uh, targeted strike? Here's what I think. I think right now I wouldn't, but maybe on the Volcano Island I would. I think on the Volcano Island it makes sense. I want as much smoke to stick around. And depending on the enemies, which we can't really tell which enemies come up, unfortunately. But if they're not mosquitoes, then we're fine. But I think we're inclined to keep this for now. As much as I like Targeted Strike, I don't think it's going to beat out Frostbeam. And I don't think it's going to beat out Heavy Rocket. Though honestly, it might be better than Heavy Rocket, just because I can put it anywhere on the map. Like, I can see that. It doesn't have any upgrades. Here's the thing, though. It can just represent a future star. It's fine. Would I have done anything... Here, here's the thing. Would I have done anything different uh, factoring in this? Like, would I have just not bought this? What would I have done otherwise? Because I would, I would have already had that for my free reward, right? And would I have said, well, I already have the airstrike, am I just going to not take the brute and buy my one missing power and power up for 2%? Maybe that does make more sense. Maybe that does. The thing that this gets me is, like, if I buy this, because keep in mind, you have to use all your stars each time, right? So, like, what this does mean is I've exchanged two current stars for a future one star. So, like, this could just be a situation now where I hold this and I determine either one of these, like maybe I do still want the targeted strike instead. I'm going to switch these in and out throughout the next island, see which one performs better. And then say I get stuck at a, another like eight star finish at the next island. If I don't like anything purchasable and I don't need power grid, I can just sell the weapon that doesn't perform as well and then I have an extra reactor out of it. So I still think I made the right call, even like not factoring that in. I think I would still do this. But yeah, I'm going to try out Heavy Rocket because I know Targeted Strike is good. I don't really use Heavy Rocket. Um, I just need to see how it does. The nice thing is it does that extra damage. The downside is that I do need a clear line of sight to the enemy to use it. That's the huge advantage that Targeted Strike has. So we'll see. We'll see. Does the damage outweigh the versatility here? I highly doubt it, but we'll, we'll use it just to see. And where, as for where the reactors go right now... I could either get another freeze use or more movement out of these. I gotta be honest, like having another use on this frost beam, I that's pretty it's pretty wild how good this actually is. I underestimated how good it is. It's it's really good. I think we just do that. And this is the carry unit. As much as I would like to do like move and move, like this is just too powerful. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. That was loads more fun and easy to play than the uh, heat sinks. Heat stinks. Uh, I got a good feeling about us. And the nice thing too is, like, for the volcano island, having airstrike or the brute shot, and that freeze beam is gonna help a lot with some of the problems that we might come up with. But yeah, we'll see. I could probably do a two island with how powerful this is. I feel like I, I always feel inclined to do a two island when I feel powerful enough because it's really hard to get two island finishes, especially on unfair. 
because you, it's like if you, if you if you kind of waste the opportunity when you have really good pickups to try to beat it on two island, like future tries might just not roll that well and you kind of waste your time, but we'll see. We'll see. I have no idea what, if this is going to be a two or three or four island. Um, we might still be inclined just to do a three or four island if we're on the fence because I, well, I don't know. Like this is, this is a unique one with a control mech because like as good as this primary is, I picked up such a god tier secondary that we not we might not be moving units 120 tiles even on a four island here, so like trying for that achievement might just be wasted effort. But we'll see. In either case, I don't feel bad about any of these islands because this squad is just too damn good. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.